Are you looking for the best paint to paint your house, your walls in your house? We have picked up some, I don't know if y'all can tell from our previous videos, we used to have an ugly like yellow color in here. It's what the house came with. And we decided that we wanted to kind of change it up, make the rooms a little bit brighter, uh, add a little bit more blue colors in there as opposed to that ugly yellow color that I did not like. And uh, I think it makes the videos look better too. What do you guys think? Like, Y'all let me know down in the comments below. But I wanted to show you guys the types of paint that we got, how we used it and where we applied it, and how light affects the paint as well. So uh, first things first, we have, this is the uh, -ta -ta, one gallon size, a Pelican Interior Signature. So that's uh, this color right here. We use the Valspar signature right here. I kind of wish that we would have went with the next, like the premium grade of paint. And the reason for that is because we wouldn't have had to have done two coats. They claim that you don't, that you only have to do one coat of paint on your wall and it's good to go because it has less clay in the paint. If I would have known that or thought about it, we uh, had a guy come and help us paint. And so if he didn't have to do two coats, it would have been less time on the paint. And the amount of time that he would have spent painting, uh, not the, the amount of time that he wouldn't have spent painting would have been recouped in, the, in how much the cost of the paint was. So like if you pay more for the paint, but he only has to apply it uh, 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 not as much, then the time that it takes for him to apply the paint goes down if you're paying him by the hour, which we were doing, and that would have been a better deal than the cost of getting a cheaper paint. So keep that in mind whenever you're thinking about painting your house. But this one right here is called Pelican, and that's what we have, oop, camera strap, that's what we have throughout most of the house right here. As you can tell, we have it on this wall right here. Nice kind of bluish color, if y'all can see that. Um, it's all throughout here, it's all the same. And I wanted to point out that we have kind of these more yellowy type of bulbs right here. I'm going to take out to the bath, uh, not the bathroom, some of the other rooms uh, in the house. Again, this one, same color, a little bit more of a yellow tint. And that's because that light has a little bit of uh, that yellowy tint to it. And same with this one here. But that light up there is not. So I'm going to turn off that one. First of all, look at that. Just the daylight coming through makes such a difference in that blue. Look. You see that? It adds a little bit of like an amber color to it. And then I flip on this one right here and look at that. I mean, that just shows blue, but it's actually the same color as all the other walls in the house. It's just how the lighting affects your uh, paint colors. And so I want y'all to be aware of how much it makes a difference whenever you're, so you may want, that's why they give you those color samples. Get those color samples, put them on your wall with the light that's usually on so that you guys can have a good idea of what that color looks like. Now, uh, now that I've said all that, I wanna show you guys uh, some of the trim that we did because the trim was actually a little bit easier and I wanna talk to you guys about primer as well because that stuff, oh man, that takes a long time. But let's see, this one right here, is our primer interior paint and primer this is just the white and we use this along the all of our uh, trim in the house right there now since it was just a mainly a primer we just use the primer up top and then whenever we needed like for the bottom we did the white we had it mixed with the trim paint there. So we did the primer first and then we did the trim paint on there so that we could actually get like a nice white and if the kids come and beat this thing up with their shoes, scuff it up, scratch it, whatever, um, it, would, it didn't have to have as much of a, uh, it wasn't that big of a deal because it's got that extra coat. It's got the primer plus the paint on there. But that up there is just primer and that's all it really needs because nobody can really touch that high. And so you can save yourself a little bit of money by if, you're, if your trim is already white, just prime it. It'll add like a, a kind of like a fresh whiteness to it and then you'll be good to go. At least that's the way I look at it because I wanted to save a little bit of money right there. Then the final paint that we have, oh wait, no, we got to go over this in a minute. So hang on, we're going to do that last. Hang on, let's go through this first. This right here is our bathroom color. And it looks very similar to the one that we did here. This was the, it's called Pelican. Uh, and this one right here is called Subtle Canopy. And this color right here, it's actually like, I find a, just a tad bit greener than what we have in the rest of the house. And we use this in the bathrooms. And so I figured that I would show you guys what that looks like. And I brought you into this bathroom in particular because we have two different color light bulbs in here. So first of all, this up here, 
boom. It's just a daylight light bulb, and this is kind of the color that you get uh, with that, uh, that uh, name color right there, that subtle canopy. But now I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna turn off this light, and we're gonna turn on this light. And look at the difference. This is more of that yellowy type of light right there. So it just, it makes a big difference. It adds that yellowy amber color to it that you probably won't see in the stores whenever you're looking at your paints because they have a different kind of light in the store than you have at the house more than likely. So uh, I wanted to share that with you guys again, but I really like this color in here too. It adds kind of almost like a beachy type of feel to it because of that subtle canopy. It adds that like that seafoam green to it. But now let me turn off that light. Let's go and talk about primer. Because I don't know if y'all remember this room. That used to all be brown right there. <laughs> and that's that like wood paneling. If you have wood paneling in your house, you gotta put this crap down first. This is primer, uh, oil-based, yeah, oil-based primer, which is what you're gonna need, oops, to be able to get, uh, to be able to paint over the, uh, the wood paneling. And that's kind of the deal that we had here. So we had all this, like everything in this room, all the way around is wood paneling, wood paneling, wood paneling, all the way around, even back there and over there. So we had to prime that entire thing, put all the primer down, you gotta let it dry, and then you had to go through and paint it, of course, and of course you didn't get the expensive paint lane, did you? No, we didn't get the expensive paint, and so what do we have to do? We gotta paint it all again. So it took three coats of paint on this stuff right here. And this stuff, because it's the paneling too, you have to kind of like get into the grooves right here, so you gotta take your brush and kind of like hit it into there so that it actually gets on those grooves, and then you brush it out. And you gotta trim everything too because we kept this trail chair rail right here that we really liked. We like how it kind of outlined the room with the brown and whatnot. Um, so it just, it took a long time because there was a lot of trim to do. There's three coats of stuff that you have to put on there and it, um, it, you know, just moving, letting it dry and moving the drop cloth all the way around. It just took a long time. It was a little painstaking, but luckily our painter was a super cool guy and I started helping him and we got to talking. He was awesome. So uh, it, was, it made the time go by faster. Let's just say that. But I definitely love the colors in here now. I gotta know down in the comments below, are you guys loving the new background? Go and watch an old video and see that old yellow color. It is horrible. And I'm, I'm just, I'm absolutely loving this color now. If you guys wanna check, I believe this is, Lowe's Valspar, I got it at Lowe's. Does it say on the tag? Yeah, Lowe's. So if you guys wanna check out the Valspar stuff, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I paid for all this paint myself. And uh, I just, I would recommend if you do go with the Valspar, don't get the cheap stuff, unless you're painting it by yourself and you're not having the extra cost of hiring someone, then you can take, if you wanna take more time to be able to do it with two coats, then you can get the middle grade or the cheaper one. But if you're hiring someone, just go with the best quality that they have so that you only have to do one coat and then you'll save some money by not having to pay that guy if he's working on an hourly, uh, hourly wage for you. But thought I'd share my thoughts on that with you guys. Kind of the dad reviews upgrade for 2021 that we did was getting these great new colors for you guys. So. If you guys wanna see, I'm trying to think about any other home improvement stuff. Um, I've done an, in, oh no, how we cleaned our toilet with muriatic acid. I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys gotta go click that video if you're having a mineral buildup in your toilet that you can't get rid of. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.